How's it guys? Today we have a very very interesting species. It's one of those that has cropped up a lot more in recent times and it's probably because our targeting of species has changed. So in the past guys hardly ever used to catch the species because the main focus was on edibles. So you'd be targeting kingfish, you'd be targeting carp and things like that, shad mainly. Now the shift has gone more from that towards Instead of fishing for food, we're more fishing for fun. So catching species that are going to be hard fighting, so your sharks, your rays, and then releasing them, which is fantastic. I can't uh, stress that enough how excited that is, because now the guys are taking less pressure off those edible fish and putting more onto the inedibles, which most of the time are a bit hardier. They can actually handle a bit more of that stress. But obviously within limits, we don't want to say, go target them on a light tackle, appropriate tackle. Anyway, side note. Today we're going to be talking about the bow mouth guitarfish or bow mouth guitarfish depending on how you want to go here. Yeah? Uh, also called a bow mouth sand shark. Uh, the scientific name is Rhina Stoma. Ankleostoma. Sorry, my mouth has gone for a vacation today. And um, it's basically, so it's not in the same genus as your normal sand shark, as Jugensis, but he's a species on the same family tree. So, similar structures, but also a lot of differences. Now, he's got a duller gray color overall with uh, sp spotted marks all over. So, similar to a sand shark, but the big difference is, as the name states, the bow mouth. So, instead of that sharp pointed head in the front, he's got this big arching, almost big smile on the front of his face. It's, it's a very, very uh, interesting species to look at. He's, he's one of a kind. There are no other species that look, look like that. You do get a round nose sand shark, but he's also got a straighter head and a round in the front. This is a big, big arcing, big goofy head in the front. Now, also what he's got is similar to the giant sand shark, which is the, those little spikes that sit on his head. He's got above his eyes, he's got a row that sits there, and then he's got three rows that sit just behind his head that run along like that. Now, they, they are there for protection, but it's not something that's going to you know, cut your hand open or anything like that. They just, they, as far as I know, they sort of hardened uh, chitinous uh, little spikes on there. But they're not, you know, like a rose thorn, proper long little things, rose prickles. Look it up. Side note. Roses don't have thorns, they have prickles. It's not a true thorn. Do some research there, it's quite interesting. Your, so those little spikes there are just for protection and just for putting off, off predator species and things like that, making it look a lot meaner than it is. But after that, he's still got the same two, two dorsal fins and then the big tail. Uh, measurement is done exactly the same. It's not pre it's all the way to the tip of the tail. And yeah, people are going to tell you differently of how to measure these species. Some will tell you you've got to bend the tail flat and then put your, your spike in the ground and measure it in a straight line. But it is from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail. So do as little harm to the fish as possible. You're not going to want to now obviously wrestle the tail down to the ground. Just Imagine it was your leg, you don't want to twist it to a, such a degree that's going to hurt you, but uh, if measurements are that important to you, carry on. Your yeah, overall shape and size are very, very similar. Right, that big rounded head, you get the, the, the reports on sizing is a bit different. I've got up to 2.4 and up to 2.7, so you can sort of balance that and see around about 2.5 meters is the max size. And they do get over 130 kilos, so that's a, a big, big strong fish. In terms of fight wise, very similar to your giant sandy. Some say a little bit stronger, some say not as strong. So once again, it's gonna be in between. There's very, very little research that's been done on this. I've actually got, in terms of uh, what's what's actually been researched, I think is mainly from angler uh, anecdotal evidence, the stuff that I've been told. You do get them from the east coast of Africa all the way up and then along and into Northern Australia. So, well, for you guys, it'll be this way like that in the Indian Ocean. They are a very rare species. You do not catch a lot of them. In the last, say, three years, I've heard of about, about three, so almost one a year. Uh, it's a, a species that you're gonna catch while targeting your other inedibles, things like that. So 
your nice, your mackerel baits, your red eye baits, your bonito baits is going to be what they're going to be eating. So, a nice mackerel head, your general purpose nano circle look, uh, mackerel head with cutlets on and a dingle is going to really be what you're going to be using to target them. So, I'd love to say go there and fish for it and you're going to catch it, but it's a species that if you do get lucky enough to catch it, uh, respect it. Uh, keep it in the water, take a nice picture because it's one of those species that a handful of guys have ever caught so it's not it's not a common species to get. But yeah, unfortunately that's pretty much all I've got for you guys on this one. Uh, they are edible but it's like, yeah, in my opinion it'd be stupid to keep, to keep one to eat so rather focus, rather go to the, the shops and buy something. But yeah, the bowmouth guitarfish, very cool species, definitely has to be on everyone's species list and yeah, about heavy tackle, so the same as you'd use for your normal non-heads uh, to target them. Yeah, cheers.